Hello, Joyful Tribe, and welcome back to the channel. Trust everyone is doing well. Today, I'm going to share two ways to make this plantain fufu. Oh, this will be one of your favorite fufu recipes ever. So keep watching. You need unripe plantains. That's the green one. We all know that this is very, very healthy. I also recently learned that the unripe plantain peel can help with ulcer. But please don't take my word for it. Always confirm with your doctor. All right, so moving on, you want to make sure you wash your plantain very well and set it aside. So for this first method, I'm using both the green plantain and yam. Wash the yam as well and set it aside. Cut off the head and the tail of the plantain. That's the only one we will not be using for this fufu. Yes, we are using both the peel and the plantain. What? Joyful cook. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you're going to cut them up into small sizes like this and set it aside. Today's special hug is for Amarachi watching from Nigeria. I'm so glad you love the recipes. Thank you for watching and leaving that beautiful comment. Please let me know where you're watching from so I can send you a hug in my next video. So after cutting up the plantain, I'm going to cut up some yam. I won't be using a lot of yam. I'll be using about two slices of yam. So peel the yam and then we're going to cut the yam into cubes as well. I think it is safe to call this fufu amala because I know amala is gotten from dry yam and some people use plantains too. So the combination of it, I think, should be called amala. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. So now this is set, I'm going to transfer into a food processor. You can also use a blender. Add a bit of water, just enough to be able to blend it. You don't want to add too much water. Now blend this until it is very smooth. Now it is completely smooth, I'm going to transfer into a pot and the fufu making process begins. So you want to start stirring this, do this on medium heat, stirring consistently. If you leave it for too long, it's going to form lumps and it may not be able to break up by the time it starts to cook. So keep stirring constantly until it begins to thicken up. Meanwhile, I'm going to go in with some oil. What this would do is number one, you know, help with the stickiness. And number two, give it that shine. You can skip this. You don't have to. It is not very necessary. Scrape down the sides as you stir from time to time with the aid of a spatula so that everything can cook evenly. If this is your first time here, I want to specially thank you for clicking to watch today's video. Please don't forget to click the like button, subscribe before you go, it is free. Then click on the bell icon so you'll be among the first to know anytime I upload a new video. To my returning subscribers, I love you all so so much. Thank you for always coming back to watch. After about seven to, this took around eight minutes. Now you see everything is coming together and most of those lumps are now disappearing because I kept stirring. If you did not do it, by this time you will see cocoa everywhere. So when it is beginning to look like this, it doesn't mean it is cooked or nope. Now you're going to add water, add enough water, depending on how soft or hard you like your swallow. I like my swallow really soft. So add enough water, cover and let this cook down properly for a good 10 to 12 minutes. Do it on medium low heat. After 12 minutes, I'm going to now come check on the fufu and give it a stir. But before then, I thought I needed to reduce the amount of liquid in there. You can always add liquid, but remember when you add too much, it's going to be difficult. So I'm going to start stirring now until everything comes together again. I won't fast forward this so you can see how it transitions from this stage into a very, really smooth and silky swallow. 
So watch, enjoy the process and enjoy the music. While at it, don't forget to click on the like button. It will help this video a whole lot. Thank you. Alright, look at our fufu looking good, shiny and very silky. The texture is amazing. So I'm going to clean out the wooden spatula and wrap this up. You want to wrap it up, especially if you're not eating it immediately so it doesn't dry out. Like I said, the texture was so nice. Look at that. And you can see the shine as well from that oil. The oil is optional. If you're watching your weight, skip the oil. This fufu is also very great if you want to maintain your weight, you know, instead of having all yam, that's all pounded yam, you can mix it up with the plantain or have just the plantain fufu. You can actually make this with just the plantain and it will still turn out nice. So I'm going to wrap them up. I got three wraps in total. Serve this with any Nigerian soup of your choice. I had this with my Ugu and Uziza soup. It was so yummy. If you haven't seen that video, it's the video I posted before this one. A link will be in the description box. Alright, I'm going to enjoy my fufu now with my soup. It was so good, you guys. Look at the texture. This was after a few minutes. Not so long, actually. But you can see it's already set. Look at that. So I'm going to cut into it and enjoy. Join me. For the second method, you want to start by washing the plantain, you know, just like we did for the first method wash it really well you may have to use a sponge depending on how dirty your plantain is so scrub it very well and then cut into tiny pieces please use a chopping board if you don't have good control of the knife so you don't hurt yourself Transfer this into a pot, add enough water to cover it and cook until it is soft. Twenty-five minutes later, check on the plantain. Once a fork or skewer can drive through it easily, then you know it is ready. Scoop it out and straight into a blender or a food processor. I use a food processor so transfer into a food processor and blend till smooth. But you don't want to blend this for too long so it doesn't turn liquidy. I blended this for around 30 to 40 seconds. So this is what it is looking like. It is smooth and ready. Transferred to a plastic wrap again so it doesn't dry out. Now with this you can see the texture is a bit different but don't worry. Wrap it up and let it sit. Once it sets it's going to you know get harder. If you know plantain you know plantain gets harder as it cools down. So if you ask me I think it is better it's this way now because by the time it cools down it's going to get stronger. Our plantain fufu is nice and ready, but I did not allow it enough time to, you know, set. But it's okay. I'm going to just serve and enjoy. I had this particular one with oha soup. It was so delicious. I have oha soup on this channel. I'll link it as well in the description box. Thank you so much for watching this video. Subscribe, share, click the like button. Bye.